Yeah, along with that, um, you were saying earlier is that you need to hold a token, and I, I believe you're referring to mm -hmm. the row token, right? Um, yep. Yeah. Can you just explain how this works? Is like, if I hold this token, you know, what if I give it to like my siblings, right? You know, do I still get mm -hmm. the benefits, or now do they get it? Like, how does it work? Yeah, sure. Um, so let me talk about um, this row token. So, so row token, um, uh, we, we we come up with this name because row R H O is a Greek letter for interest rate. So that's why we call it row token. So Money. in in the first mm, stage, nice. uh, <laughs> yeah. So in, in the first stage, we will support uh, three stablecoin, USDC, USDT, and BUSD. So we have the corresponding mm -hmm. row token called row USDC, row USDT, and row BUSD. How it works is that users come to Flurry and then they deposit their stablecoin. Let's say you deposit a uh, USDT, you will get back the row USDT uh, in return. So you can see it like a wrap uh, USDT. But then on the back, we are sending the USDT to different um, DeFi products to earn mm -hmm. interest. And then when, when we um, get the interest from uh, this product, we will distribute the interest to you in a special way, which is uh, the, the feature that differentiate Flurry from other U aggregators. So um, in other DeFi products, when you um, mint uh, their deposit token, they, they are distributing the interest to you through uh, a changing value of the deposit tokens. Let's say in compound, they, they change the exchange rate such that the C token value are changing with the uh, accrued interest. And that's why the C token cannot be used as a medium of exchange because you won't accept a C token because today is worth 100, tomorrow is worth 102, something like that. So it is not stable. But then in Flurry, what we are trying to do is that uh, we will distribute the interest through a rebasing mechanism. So what we will do is we will increase the supply of row tokens. For example, if you have 100 uh, USDC and then you mint uh, 100 row USDC and you earn 5% on this uh, amount, so what you will see is that uh, you will see your row USDC balance grow from 100 to 105. So we are trying to pay the interest in the form of more row tokens such that the row USDC is always packed one to one to the underlying uh, USDC. In this way, um, the, the row USDC is always packed and backed 100% by the underlying stablecoin. And that's why we say, okay, it's equivalent to the underlying USDC and that's why you can actually use it. So I can pay um, you the row USDC. And your question is uh, whether you will have the interest after you send the uh, row token to another user. The answer is no. So as long as you hold the row token, you enjoy the interest. But once you transfer it to another user, the interest will go to the other user. So um, that is a good thing for um, for trade when you imagine uh, uh, you can use row token directly. So let's say today um, I want to trade with you. So I, I earn interest up to uh, today and then I transfer the row token to you and you started earning interest right away and you don't have to mint anymore. And then at the same time, I don't have to redeem before I send the fund to you. So in the whole process, the stablecoin is never idle. They, they are always earning interest on the back. And it also saves gas costs on me and you because you don't have to mint and I don't have to redeem. So, so it's a very efficient use of the capital and also it is uh, a lot of cost savings in the process. Right. Mm, nice. Very yeah, nice. really just simplifies the whole thing. Very no doubt. Good. Yeah, if, if yeah. everyone yeah. is using row token, then uh, the, the stable coin on the, <laughs> I mean, in the protocol is uh, like working hard all the time. They, they, <laughs> they never sleep, right? Yeah. They, they make a return on your fund all the time. And uh, that's why we think this is the future of your generation. Mm.